Okay, um, so this is another Nano VNA video. Um, I did find a, a Google Drive page that had a bunch of um, material for the Nano VNA. Um, it has firmware, it has uh, manuals, both in Chinese and English, um, and it has software and drivers for updating the firmware. Um, so it has uh, also software to do remote control of the uh, uh, Nano VNA over the uh, USB port, um, something called Nano VNA Sharp. Um, so, in the firmware section, um, there are some files that you can upload. Um, you you need to put the um, there's instructions in here on how to do that on upgrading the uh, software. You have to put the nano into a, you short two pins together, it puts the nano into receiving those things over USB, and then you can flash the memory and stuff. I haven't tried that, but it's in here. It has all the versions of uh, the nano VNA, the 300 megahertz, the 800 megahertz, and the 900 megahertz versions. It also has the version that's a antenna analyzer, so it adds a uh, kind of stripped down feature of the VNA, but it uh, allows a little bit larger font, I think, and uh, helps you do VNA work uh, on antennas. Um, the other are manuals, so there's some PDFs in here in English and in Chinese um, on how to use the device. There's also a reference paper from Keysight on how vector network analyzers work, in case you don't know. Uh, there's a cool um, a P a PDF of the menu structure of the Nano. Um, and then there's software. And then the software uh, talks about installing things. But what you want to do is you want to get this nano VNA sharp zip file and then unzip it into a directory and uh, run it. And I'll show you a VNA sharp uh, running. Uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so I'll put a link to this uh, Google Drive um, in the description below um, so you can get access to it. So let's go see if we can look at uh, nano VNA sharp. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, uh, so if you download that zip file and put it in a directory, this is what you'll see. Uh, a couple Smith charts and something called Nano VNA. So let's click on Nano VNA. Okay, uh, we have brought up uh, Nano VNA. Um, when you first connect it, you hook up the USB cable, um, you turn it on, and then uh, you will see uh, some pop. COM port pop up. So COM5 was mine. You hit connect. Now you're talking to the Nano VNA. And if you click get data, then it updates the screen. You can also push the little button here and it's going to update the screen every 1200 milliseconds. So you can see it's updating here. Uh, you can display different things on the graph. Uh, we can display a Smith chart. Uh, there we go. Smith chart is displaying. Uh, we can change um, things, go back to log magnitude. Uh, so we're looking at the log magnitude. So this is the dip at 144. This is the dip at 440. Uh, we can change, oops, we can change the, uh, oh dear, 100, oh man. 100, there we go, 100 to, let's say, 600. And now we're, we're zoomed out. Uh, we could look at uh, linear S11. Ooh, really big. Nice, because it's linear. Uh, it goes wacky once in a while. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, and uh, like I said, we could, uh, we could do, say, 100 to... 200, oops, not 20 to 20. Okay, let's say 200 to 100. Oh, let's get rid of that auto refresh. It's messing me up. Okay, 100, get data. 100 to 900, and then we're gonna go to 100 to 200. There we go. So now we zoomed in on, on this right here. Um, that looks pretty good. Uh, we could do a Smith chart for that. Smith 1-1. There we go. You can see the uh, 
what the antenna is doing. That's pretty cool. Um, what are things we can look at? We can look at uh, phase information, uh, SWR. Here's the SWR. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, admittance, polar group delays. Anyway, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you want to have a nicer looking plot, um, you can save things. I don't know actually do how to do a screen capture of this. I'm sure that's easy, but um, that is working pretty good. Uh, let's even zoom in further here. Let's zoom in from 120 to 170. 120 to 170, get data. Oh, about 130 to 155. 130 to 155 data. Yeah, that looks nice. And then let's look at it at linear data, linear S11. Whoa, there we go. That's really cool. I like that. So anyway, uh, called in nano VNA, this is version 1.03. Um, I guess you can calibrate. Uh, you can save the instrument state. Recall the instrument state, change your language to Chinese. Uh, like I said, you could do auto refresh. You can save a 1P and save an S1P and an S2P, and then you can load those back in. So I guess you can save and then maybe display on top of another one. I don't know. Anyway, some things to play with. Um, but uh, all, it's very simple to it's very very simple to run. Just grab the zip file, unzip it, run nano VNA sharp. It'll show you which COM port. Like, hook it, hook up your USB C cable, turn it on, um, and then hit uh, load this program. It'll show you which COM port to go get. Uh, hit connect, hit get data, and you're ready to go. So very nice.